Hello everyone. So on my channel, I think uh, majority of videos are on Emacs or mode. And I guess uh, if you're watching this video, then I'm sure you must have uh, subscribed to my channel. Or maybe you, for some reason, if you're watching this video, or maybe if you follow my videos, then I'm sure you are someone who came to my channel or found my video or content because I made a video on org mode, I shared something related to Emacs. And uh, this is because uh, I not only use Emacs, but I just don't use Emacs for the sake of it. I use it to actually do my work. And that actually involves doing a lot of things. And, and I think for majority of Emacs users, they usually spend time, months, even years to make the perfect uh, Emacs configuration for them. Now, there is one really cool, useful and a very popular feature or, uh, <laughs> or thing that I have never really talked about and that is Maggot. Now, if you write code and especially if you are collaborating with someone, then uh, you are most likely I'm sure you're using some kind of version control system. Most likely you're using Git. I also use Git. I have been using Git for many years now, although I've used other version control systems like SVS. No, not SVS. CVS. CVS? Yeah. SVN. SVN. Yes. And uh, uh, then, of course, I, I've tried Mercurial and a uh, couple of others. I can't even remember their name, but that was like long back, early 2000s. But Git is, of course, you know, very, very common and popular and it is great. And I use Git. My usage of Git is, of course, not very complicated. I, you know, just use GitHub repositories, not GitHub, I mean, apart from GitHub, Bitbucket as well. But uh, I'm not a power Git user. I just do the bare minimum basic. And most of the, most of the things that I do, I, I do it from the terminal. For example, if I have to... Um, do things like uh, you know basic stuff like commit something to my repository or uh, create a new let us say branch or if i am uh, trying to um, let us say I i'm trying to change the remote i mean these these are the, the things that i think majority of people they do like very basic minimum usage and I have never really, although I've used Maggot, I still do use Maggot like sometimes, but I don't really use it a lot. But I have recently uh, started or evaluating or I should say incorporating Maggot into my workflow. And uh, I am also learning. I'm not really saying I know everything. I, I just know whatever I do from the Git terminal, I do it from the Maggot as well. But uh, the good thing about Maggot is that the, the moment you are working on your let us say you have some code or uh, you know you know some modification that you want to do and you want to of course commit it you of course have a buffer and that buffer is something that will let you do everything like it will let you do something with your uh, code you can add files <clears throat> you can commit you can uh, basically <clears throat> push it so this is something that maggot I think it is not like not really a simple tool it can do a lot and learning maggot in the beginning because I remember like some, I think it was two years. <clears throat> I think it has been in, 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 the, in the last two years when I tried Maggot and I thought, okay, let me just, you know, spend some time. I, I spent some time. I learned a few things. Then I didn't really use it a lot. So whenever, let us say if I'm writing a shell script and I'm uh, most likely I'm within Emacs, I do commit my code from within, from within Emacs and uh, I use Maggot. But I mostly use the buffer and use the options that I have. And uh, <clears throat> uh, I don't even do anything extraordinary using uh, Maggot buffer. Although there are a lot of things that we can do. And I do have like my own personal uh, Git uh, org file where I keep all my commands. And uh, if I am stuck somewhere or if I can't really remember what I did long back, I look at my Git, like my, my, my mastering Git org. So I'm now going to add 
to that particular org file, maggot related stuff as well. And I'll of course start with basics. I will uh, you know talk about how to use it, of course. And uh, just like any other video of mine, I'll of course not go into the details and like I'll not really do a deep dive because uh, especially when it comes to using something like maggot, I don't really think majority of people or most of you would be interested in uh, learning everything about it. You just want to do like basic things and you just want to make it work for you. So that is what I will do. For example, if you watch any of my LaTeX Beamer video, I try not to like repeat what is already there in the documentation. I just try to bring in my perspective, like how I used it for, uh, because I, I think in, in majority of cases, you would be just using 20% of the features to do 80% of, you know, what you do, like basically 80% of people will be just and mostly using 20% of the features. Uh, and uh, the same is true for Maggot. If you try to learn Maggot for the very first time, you can get, it can get actually very overwhelming because there are so many things. Although if you go to the Maggot official, if you like, you, you can find this information at several, like there are a lot of places where you can find information. There are videos, there are, uh, you know, blogs, but I will try to make maybe f four or five videos and I'll try to focus on, you know, doing the bare minimum basics that majority of you are probably doing anyways with terminal like me. All right, that is it. That is all I wanted to, you know, share. I will be making a lot of videos. I mean, not a lot of, like four or five videos for sure on Maggot. I mean, it's a shame because uh, I, I have like, I'm sure I have like hundreds of videos on Emacs R mode, but I've never really talked about uh, Maggot. But now is the time. All right, so do expect more videos on Maggot. And uh, what else? Yeah, that is it. That is that is all I wanted to talk about and share in this video. I hope I hope you found this video useful, and I hope you will enjoy my Maggot videos. Bye bye.